Today we saw the official trailer of not only Peacemaker, who is the second guest character in Mortal Kombat 1, we also saw the debut trailer of Janet Cage, which is a Johnny Cage style character who I thought originally would have a bunch of classic moves, but truth be told, there's only a few. Some of them are new, some of them are throwbacks to extreme in-depth competitive Mortal Kombat to the point where the gameplay we saw took me by surprise in a very pleasant way. It wasn't just the two characters, we saw some teases of potential gameplay changes in the game. And without further ado, let's talk about everything I could possibly notice for those that might have missed a bit. So, to begin with, Peacemaker does a two-hit string. Now, this looks like it starts from a mid-hitting attack that can't be crouched. However, I was incorrect about the Quan Chi trailer, where a mid became a high, so definitely this could be either or. However, this is confirmed into a EX version of a straight projectile. This involves three shots being fired, and it causes a crumple effect, allowing for further combos. After this crumple, Peacemaker calls in Eagly to provide a combo extender. Now, this isn't the last time we see Eagly in the trailer, there's some extra stuff here. However, the extender is what we see so far. After the extender is where we see the first cameo attack from Janet Cage. There's clearly a lot going on in this exact sequence. So, first of all, we see Peacemaker use a teleport attack. This is reminiscent of Omni-Man. This is reminiscent of something like a Martian Manhunter from Injustice. A drop-down teleport where he comes in and does some kind of kick. At the same time as this, we also see Janet Cage do a sequence of attacks. Now, these attacks that are done, I think there's about four of them that happen back to back. We don't know if the player is in control of these moves, whether you can choose one of the four, maybe you can do multiple, but I'm getting some real Sento stance vibes from this, where you call in the cameo, and from this point, the player is in control of various options. This could be insane for setup, it could be outrageous for certain combos, and like I said, I'm getting real Kenshi vibes from this attack. What's arguably even more wild is how this combo begins. Peacemaker ends his combo with some kind of two hit into what looks like a grab ender, so normally that's one plus three. Here's the thing though, it seems to restand and allow a special cancel. In the trailer, Peacemaker cancels this into the cage attack sequence, but normally in this kind of situation, if you can call in a cameo, you can call in a special move as well. So the possibilities of this one string could be plentiful, and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. We do see some other combo tools. There is a what looks like a special move, a blow dart that Peacemaker shoots into the air. We also see a Sonic Boom style attack, at least that's what Peacemaker calls it when he uses the move. And this move seems to have its own unique launch animation because this is kind of late in the combo and this move still sends them up really high for an extended period of time. A simple torpedo-like move ends the combo and I kind of get Drunken Master Bo Raicho vibes, you know, some kind of character that lunges forward, does an attack, it ends things. This could also, in theory, be a armored reversal if the enhanced version is possible. After this, we see a grab animation. Not really much to add here. It's a character's throw. There's not really much else to say. However, in the next sequence, we see Eagly used again for another combo extender. This is started from a couple of basic hits. Again, kind of expected. Characters are going to have two punches, right? That's just standard here. However, we see the next cameo attack where Janet Cage comes in and does a kind of jump in punch. I'm going to expand on this later, but for now, it looks like an ambush, it can extend combos, that's very expected, as is the ender where we see the EX projectile come out again to provide the exact same kind of crumple effect. After this, we see a second option from the vertical teleport. So this could be a various option kind of deal here. Might be jump focused, might just be press a different button to do a different landing. And after this, Melina throws a projectile that a new cameo attack comes in to absorb. Kinda looks like a ninja mime situation. All we see in the trailer is that Janet Cage comes in, absorbs the attack and retreats. We don't know if there is any more to this, but for now it looks like a simple anti-projectile absorb kind of attack. Whether it absorbs every kind of attack, we don't know. Whether you can use it in other situations, again, we don't know. However, it looks kinda simple in its function. 
Swiftly after, a decent anti-air, it looks like, into the repeat of the blow dart special move, into a string that ends in, again, a grab ender. This one doesn't appear to be a restand, it's more of a choke slam, and it looks like a different button input to activate a different ender, right? But again, the end of this combo looks a little bit expected. You kind of know that Peacemaker's going to have these kind of punch attacks, a grab ender. These kind of brute force characters have moves that we've kind of seen over the years, right? Okay, this is where things are going to switch up a little bit. It's going to be Quan Chi as the opponent, and it's not just for trailer purposes. Quan Chi throws out a portal attack, but this looks very different. It's a different color. It seems to create some kind of draining effect on Peacemaker, which I don't think I need to be the one to say it, looks like a new special move. We don't know what it does, but the visual effect suggests it might be some kind of drain, whether it's health, whether it's meter. It doesn't seem to prevent movement of Peacemaker, but it looks like a new special. So Quan Chi buffs, I guess we're getting them. What we see afterwards is another cameo attack. Peacemaker goes for a jump in, does a couple of hits, and then calls in a summon attack where Janet Cage performs a simple nut punch. This looks kind of exactly how you'd expect, but it was used on the ground, so does this restand if the opponent's juggled? We do not know. Does it provide anything else? Again, we don't know. It's just used as a basic attack here. Afterwards, Peacemaker activates a stance, a state almost, that makes him reflect projectiles. So anyone that hates zoning in this game is probably going to have a field day with that. And again, it kind of looks a bit self-explanatory. He does a special move, he starts to glow, and the projectile that Quan Chi throws goes right back towards him. So great, anti-zoning, love to see it. From here, things get a bit wild. Peacemaker does a couple of hits and confirms into that Sonic Boom style attack again. Goes into a three hit jump in, which causes a ground bounce. So you already know there's gonna be combo potential there. But here's the thing, an extended version of the ambush jump attack that Cage did earlier on. I have to say, this really impressed me because this animation and these three punches is as old school competitive as it gets. Johnny Cage in the first ever Mortal Kombat had a couple of combos that resulted in instant jump punches that look exactly the same as the punches that Janet Cage is currently performing. Functionally, this is clearly a combo extender, but just as a throwback to the original massive combos that Cage had, I was not expecting this. And it is clearly a reference to the giant combos of the very first Mortal Kombat. So the Mortal Kombat nerd in me is very happy to see that. When this combo is finished, we see one final piece of great utility. Now, we didn't see any kind of setup, there was no startup animation on screen, but when the opponent's cameo came out, in this case it was Darius, Eagly went in and attacked the opponent's cameo. It looked like they were locked out until the opponent manually got Eagly off the cameo. So, that does mean that Sindel is no longer the only individual character, base character, that can stop an opponent's cameo from functioning. This one's even weirder because you have to actually hit the special move to take the cameo back into your hands. So that is very interesting, we just don't know how it begins. After this, one final teleport, and this one looks like you can just cancel it and not do an attack at all, which means a simple reposition, and if the opponent has whiffed something, in this case it was a projectile, you can get yourself a full combo punish. The full combo in question is a couple of hits into the Fatal Blow startup animation, and I guess the final thing to observe is that it kind of looked like Peacemaker's Fatal Blow is a low hit. He shoots very low to the ground, I'm guessing it's a low, but hit direction of a fatal blow doesn't really matter because once you learn where it hits, you're never gonna get hit by it again, right? That's just how it works. But overall, that is the overview of the attacks that we've seen. And I kind of want to give some thoughts to close this video out because I have more to say about this character and cameo than truthfully I thought I did. So Peacemaker, you would think on first impressions is a rather simple character, and I know it's too early to say that this is or isn't going to be the case. I think he's got a lot more going on than many people expected. A lot of people were worried he was just gonna kind of be a Robocop 2.0. I have to say, you know, I don't read the comics. I've only ever seen that second Suicide Squad movie. I haven't seen the TV show. 
but a lot of people were thinking, right, this is going to be a gun character and that's it. Clearly, that is not the case because there's a lot more special moves going on here that grant mobility, anti-projectile, combo options, the utility of disabling an opponent's cameo. That is something that, again, only Sindel was doing before. And with the various different combo tools and the strings that one of them provides a restand that it looks like you can special cancel, you can call in a cameo from it. I mean... Even on day one, I'm pretty excited to see what people are finding because there is some potential for there to be some serious tech. Stuff that will help in matchups, provide combos, provide insane setups if you've got the right cameo combination. And overall, I'm pretty impressed. I think Peacemaker's going to be an interesting character day one. That said, I'd like to talk about the cameo here because Janet Cage has given a lot more than I was expecting. Of all the cameos that were announced, I saw Cage and thought, I don't know about this one. I mean, look, Cage is an iconic character. This is clearly a different kind of timeline version of the character, hence Janet Cage, even though many of the moves are similar. But when I heard of Cage, I thought, I mean, what could you do? I mean, force balls, maybe a flip kick. Of course, you're going to have the nut punch, but where do you go from there? I didn't think this would be particularly interesting. But the moment we saw this trailer and we saw a puppet-like character doing all of these different moves that you are clearly in control of to get extra combos from. This could be good for pressure. This could be good for setup. I saw a lot more moves come out of this cameo than I was expecting to see. And seeing as the trailer gave us a projectile absorb attack, this might absorb extra moves as well. You know, maybe they only just demonstrated that with the projectile, but there's other uses. A triple extender, and we already know how useful square wave attacks are in this game because of Sonya's cameo, because of the chameleon Melina square wave. Like, these attacks are clearly dangerous to capitalize and get extra damage. And this cameo is giving you three of them in a wonderful callback to the original Mortal Kombat. So, although I don't have a lot to say about Janet Cage, I was expecting it to be very boring because I didn't know how much you could do with Cage, and the trailer gave me a lot more than I was expecting to see. So, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. The final note is that we clearly see Quan Chi have a new attack here. We don't know what it does. I'm sure it's only going to be a matter of days until we find out because it's not long until Peacemaker's actually here. So, in theory, a patch should be coming alongside him. But... Is that going to be enough to fix Quan Chi? I don't know. Quan Chi has a lot of basic problems here, and I don't know how much a new move will fix that. However, that's all we saw. There might be some changes to buttons, some frame data. I don't know, but it's only going to be about a week until we get our hands on the game ourselves and can finally find out what's happening. But overall, that was a analysis and first impressions of the very first piece of Peacemaker gameplay that we've ever seen. I appreciate you for watching this video. Stick around for plenty more Mortal Kombat to come, and I will see you next time. Take care.